just work. Now I'm hoping that uh, I haven't zipped through everything too fast. Um, and I'm going to stay here. I, I want to make sure that everybody, if, if you're not clear, if you, don't, if you have questions, you can come to me and ask, and we'll just keep going through this. Who's got everything done? Okay. Yeah. Um, did you get yours already? Did you, do you need this one? No. Okay. Um, pass that down, please. She may need some help because she needs a bigger one. He's got it right behind you, so you can, you, you can use it after him. Okay, I'm not having you stand up just to make you stand up. Um, you need leverage. You can't do it sitting down. So you need leverage so you can, you can use your body weight, you can use your muscles. You got yours all loose? Did you already do the tension? Mrs. I'm always ahead of me. No, you didn't, did you? Because you don't know how to do it, do you? Because I have to show you how first, right? That's right. Does anybody loosen their tension yet? No? You're going to you need a bigger screwdriver. You know the screwdriver that you have at home? Yeah. That's going to work. Okay. Because those are regular screws. Okay. Um, the one I gave you is for the small screws. The oversized, I should have gave you both. But like I said, Gemini's cheap. But no, the, your, your average everyday screw, I'm kidding, Jesse. Where are you? I love you. You're not, we're not cheap. <laughs> state of the art is, is what I meant. Cheap, state of, it's close. But no, your regular household screwdriver is going to work. Most of those are large because most screws that people mess with are big. Ours are millimeter screws. They're, they're not as common. That could be true. Why don't you pass me up that saw so I can take a look? Let me, let me see it. Because if they are stripped, then, then you're going to have to use my saw. And if they're stripped, send it back. Let me get that screwdriver, please. Again, you know, the way I see it, if you guys, if you guys are over here and you're spending more than an hour on a saw because it's just not working, stop working on it. Call us or have your customer call us and just say, hey, guys, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. They need a new saw. Okay, this is now my saw. Voila. No, I said it's now my saw. We're trading. I already loosened those. No wonder they're so loose. I thought I was really strong for a second. Wow. Sure. Thank you. Know, you know when somebody's prepared a class really well when we've got to share screwdrivers with 32 people? Pat myself on the back for that one. What? Uh, we're, look at this. Yeah, he's got it. Wait your turn, everybody get in line. <laughs> okay, if your screwdriver's not working, stop using it because we don't want to strip our screws. Right tool for the right job. So, you know, uh, we're going to push down on this thing, but we're not going to manhandle this thing. We're not going to break it in half. We want to give this pressure. When I talk about pressure, you want to just put a little bit of weight on it. Now, when you do that, use your other hand and turn that drive pulley. It might be a little difficult. See how much easier it is? Let's pretend that what you had was a 10, and now what you have is a 5. Real simple. It's not going to stay that way. If you let go, it's going it's to it, tighten up again, right? OK, now it's harder when it comes up, right? It, pushing down makes it harder. Always got to be trouble. Does it really? It, it might have been pushing that. Let's see. OK. Just a, just a light. Yeah, a little bit light. OK, um, you see how that works? OK, we're going we're gonna to loosen the tension. Now remember, um, it's only a matter of millimeters. It's a matter of a little bit. We're, we're not manhandling. We're not changing the whole shape of the saw. We just want to loosen it up. We've got a 10. This thing isn't moving. We've got a 9. It's barely moving. We can make it work, but it's hard. We push down. Yeah, that feels about like a 5. And it's general. Your 5 is going to be different from my 5. We want it to move easily, but feel the rubber of the belt pulling back, OK? This is where it gets hard, though. This is a little difficult. Pull it down, hold it there, tighten those screws from top to bottom, starting with those motor mount screws. Upper left, lower right, 17, 18, 19. So we know which ones we're not going to sell, the ones with the strip screws that won't work. You have to continue to press. We put pressure on there until you're done tightening it down. I can unattach. I'm going to unattach for a minute. I know you guys want to hear my voice, but. Um, probably, yeah. yeah. Does it feel a little bit looser now? Yeah, it sure does. Not by much, but a little bit, right? It's a very minute amount. 
Uh -huh. You didn't feel any difference than when, when you I let picked up. up on when this, I up. did. But when I pushed down on this, I didn't That's feel anything. The only reason why is because that thing is, is you had it a little bit too loose. Okay. And it sags, and the drive gear is touching the body. So when you lift it up, you've got the drive gear off the body. Just okay. about two to three turns with your wrist is all you need. It, that, th that's a really good point. I'm glad you did that because um, if you do do it too loose, you kind of get a, a, a false indication of how it feels. So you want to make sure just a couple turns. Everything's just a couple turns, just loose. We're almost done. We'll, we'll stay a while. I don't think anybody wants to leave. They all love me. We're going we're gonna to get okay. you. I may have to do it after class, but I'll talk to you about okay. it. Was your strip? Or your screw strip? Yours is good. Okay. We kind of whittled it down to which ones we're going to sell and which ones we're not, I guess, right? I'm going to take those back and put the right screws in them now. You're going to sell the ones that are stripped. I could sell those too. For, you know, those things are, I think, 0 0.03 cents a piece. We'll just knock that off times four. So we're 1.2 cents off this of each side. looser than it needs to be. I'm going to show you one other trick. What we want is we want it to rotate freely. We want to feel a little bit of drag from the belt. So we shouldn't spin it and let it go. Just feel a little bit of drag from the belt. Right now, you almost feel no drag. OK, you see how much movement there is in that belt? That's a little too loose. Yeah, but that's OK, because we're, we're pretending it's a 10. But we're going to do, we're going to do tight tension. We're at loose tension. We're going to tighten it up. So we're going to, we're going to do both, except for those with the, with the strip screws. You're going to watch us. Sorry. Um, OK. Um, this brings up this brings up another point. Um, real important to use the right screwdriver. Um, when you do this, get the right screwdriver. Crank those screws down nice and snug. You know, don't don't get a a, a car and ram it. Don't, just just tighten it down really tight. You want this to be permanent. We don't want this to be something that uh, that they come back because it's loosened up. Now, most of these things are oversized when they're built. So if you loosen the screws and you let it go, it'll 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 vibrate up, and you'll have tight tension again. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna address loose tension um, just so we can get these saws back where they need to be. Okay, I'm gonna just get one second, make sure that they're clear, and we'll go again. You guys still feel pretty comfortable? You feel like you're learning? Your, your, yeah, for the most your part. Attention, um, it, it appears that you're saying that once you adjust it, you're done. It's not going to come out of adjustment. It's not going to come out of adjustment if it's done right. But, but you said that's on the Taurus 2. No, on the 2.2 it is. Now we're going to address that Taurus 2 while we show you how to do um, loose tension and, and fix that. You may have said it in the beginning, and I, I really am sorry if I missed it. What's the difference between the Taurus 2 and the 2.2? OK. Difference between Taurus 2 and Taurus 2.2. Outwardly, our door on these saws, which are 2.2s, pops off completely. The, the door on the Taurus 2 opens on a hinge. So when you see that, you know. Oh, that's all the difference? It, no, there's a lot of difference. It's a different, it's never that easy. It's never that easy. Um, it's actually a different type of material. Um, good material was able, actually, if you can believe this or not, or not it, was, it, it allowed us to make a saw that's, that's roughly affordable for everybody. Um, it, if anybody remembers Gemini saw in the beginning, we, we came out with the Gemini, the very first saw, a very large saw, very expensive saw to build, a, a very expensive saw to buy. Um, and you know, to be honest, we went from a, a, an over $2,000 saw to a saw that retails between four and $500, less sometimes. But pretty remarkable to get it down that far. Um, and, and that's by using new, new technology, new plastics, things like that. Um, Taurus II was a good saw. Vast majority of all Taurus IIs are still out in the market, work great. We made a lot of those guys. But when they did have problems, um, they had a problem like loose tension. Because it was a hand-poured um, plastic, it was actually a polyurethane, they, they got A, they got B. They put a little bit in, they stir it. Depending on, on the weather, depending on the guy doing it, if he had a bad night the night before, there may be more hardener, there may be less, there may be things like that going on. So you get one that has a little bit of hardener. So it's great. You've had it for a while. It's running like a champ. And it gets kind of hot outside, and this thing's like an ice cream. It, it doesn't literally melt till it's jello, but it does sag down. You don't even see it until you start having trouble with the saw. Then you call me and I tell you what to look for, and you're like, wow, man, this thing is it's melted. So that's where you, you go with loose tension. The ones that are bad, are, they don't exist. The ones that are so bad they don't work, they don't exist. They've called us. We've dealt with them. They're not they around anymore. Yeah, they're not used. They were replaced or they were replaced by a 2 or a 2.2. They're, they're gone. Yeah. Now, but yours is going to be working because you know what to do. You'll go home, and if it doesn't work, you're going to call me and say, hey, man. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> and 
See, uh, how, how did I know? Yeah, I've done everything. I took the class. See, I don't have any excuses anymore if you guys have taken the class.